from Thailand. Thailand, wonderful. Welcome, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, Vanessa. Hi. Hello. Nice Hello. to meet you. Where are you where are you from, Vanessa? I'm from Spain. Spain. Nice. Where in Spain? In the south, the southern part of Spain. Mm. Nice. Wonderful. <laughs> Hi, uh Koba. Koba? Hello, Koba. Hello, welcome. Would you introduce yourself? Oh, your your microphone's not working. I can see your mouth moving, but I'm not hearing anything. Sorry. When it starts working, let me know. Now, is that okay now? Yes, now it's working. Yeah, okay. So I'm from Georgia, I'm 26, 23, and uh, we are learning English. And it's my friend, Nino. Hi. We found out that, that site, you know, three days ago, uh -huh. and we are very happy about it. Wonderful. So. It's yeah. Koba and Nino? Yep. Hello. Well, Koba welcome. And Nino. Welcome. Thank you very much. Um, and. Let's see, my name is Nick. Yeah. I'm uh, 21 years old. I'm going to university here in the United States. Uh, yeah, where are you going? I'm a third year, and uh, excited to be here. Wonderful. Well, it's nice to meet all of you, and Adolfo, good to have you in class again, as always. <laughs> um, do you all have any questions for me or about me before we get started? I do. Go ahead, Adolfo. I noticed that your classes are starting uh, one hour earlier. Oh, my, my classes are one hour earlier. Yeah. You know why that is? I know that in some places in our states, uh, the hour changed. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's not actually one hour earlier for me, but um, it's. It's called daylight savings time, and so it went. It went back. Does that make sense? Ah, okay. So Great. for you, you're uh, given classes at the same time as always. Exactly. Exactly. But it's an hour earlier for you. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Um, Vin and Koba and Nino, when, yep. you, when you talk, it's it's very it's yeah very yeah loud for we all understand. Of us. Sorry so, about it. No problem. You can you can um, also mute, mute your microphone when you want to yes, talk I to know. each other. And, great. Yeah okay. yeah. Then we uh, then we mute that. Good. Uh, okay. If you want to talk. All right. So um, and welcome Thornin. I know. Thorinen, hello? Okay, maybe a little later. All right, so we're going to talk about counts and quantifiers today. Um, so does someone know the, the word counts? No? It's count is like counting, right? Exactly, yeah, so. like counting. I'm going to do a quick screen share here. All right, can everyone see that? It's a little too small, right? Hold on a minute. Yeah. 
sorry, teacher, can we go to uh, Google Drive? Can we find this project uh, on Google Drive or no? Um, I unfortunately because of copyright stuff, the the first stuff I'm gonna share in class, yeah. I can't I can't do by Google Drive. I have to do by screen share. Um, but everything else I can send you a link to. Yeah, please. Okay. 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 So wait, that's this is not what I want. I'm sorry. Here we go. All right. How is this? Can everyone see that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, great. So, count. Um, this this class is gonna focus a lot more on um, quantifiers. And if you're curious about count, count is, we we have a um, beginner class um, that you can go watch on on video if you're curious about counts. But we're gonna cover them a little bit more. Um, in, we're going to cover quantifiers a little bit more in depth today. Um, so counts versus count. There's a difference between count and non-count nouns. Um, have any of you come across this information before? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay. Um, Hasem, do you want to talk a little bit about what you learned about them? Yes. Uh... The sum of word, uh, 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 the count. Sorry, I, I hear lots of noises. I can't hear you probably. Sorry, say that again. Uh, I hear lots of noises. I yeah. Can, uh, <laughs> there, there are a lot of noises today. Different yeah. people. <laughs> we try to work yeah. as best we can with it. You want to try once? Uh, tell me once more. Uh, yes, uh, I want to say some of word. Can we uh, uh, count them with number? And uh, another word, we cannot count them. For example, uh, uh, egg, egg, uh, uh, eggs. Uh, can we count eggs? But uh, uh, but uh, for another example, water. We cannot count water. You know? That's uh, uncountable. Water uncountable. But uh, X, we uh, countable uh, word. Ne. Great. Great. That's wonderful. Adolfo, do you want to add anything to that? I think you explained it well. Great. Okay. Wonderful. Um, hi, Victor. Uh, hello, hello. Nice to have you in class again. Do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Uh, okay. Hello, I'm Victor. I'm from Vietnam. I'm 22 and I'm a student. Nice, wonderful. Welcome, welcome back. Um, so, Victor, the difference between when it's countable and uncountable is just the, the type of noun it is, and it's just something you have to practice a lot. There's no set rule um, for how you tell if a noun is countable. The set rule is if you count it and it sounds right, then it's countable. Um, so we have two examples here of a count and a non-count noun. One is chair and the other is furniture. And chair is a count noun because you can say a chair, meaning one chair, or one chair, then say two chairs, some chairs, three chairs, four chairs, five chairs, right? You can keep going. And some qualities of this are that um, you can if you see in the right hand column, right, it says the count noun can be counted with numbers. This is what I just said. And it can be preceded by a or an in the singular form. And then it has a plural form that ends in s or es. 
So chairs, right? So you don't say two chair, three chair. It's two chairs, three chairs, four chairs. And if the plural is irregular. The plural is regular, yes. Yeah, exactly. Um, whereas with furniture, you can't say one furniture, two furniture, three furniture, right? Um, and it cannot be counted with numbers. So, so we're going to focus mainly today on quantifiers, and quantifiers are what you use when you can't use count and non-count, uh, when, when it's not a count now. Does that make sense? I'm sorry, that was yeah. a little... A little slow to come out. Yeah. Yeah, Sounds like good. one, two, some. Right. Exactly. Well, well said, Adolfo. So let me, let's let's have some practice now with this. So some of these sentences have mistakes in them, and some of them have no mistakes. And so, see, it says, I bought one chair for my apartment. Right? That's fine. It's, it's, it's good. But the second one says, I bought some furniture for my apartment. We and can say a piece of furniture. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a quantifier. That's a quantifier. And that's what we're going to talk about a lot more today. So, Adolfo, you want to try number three? I bought four chairs for my apartment, right? Yeah. And is it is it good or do you need to make an edit? No, it's correct. All right, great. Hazan, you want to do four? Uh, I bought four furniture for my apartment. I don't so I don't know. We can uh, say here I bought some furniture for my uh, apartment. Right. You have to change it. You yeah. can't. The fortune. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, uh, I I I want to ask. Can we uh, uh, say this sentence correct if we uh, uh, write uh, four furniture also? No, four furniture is not correct because does, uh, yeah. furniture doesn't have like Adolfo said. It doesn't have yeah. a regular plural. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Koba, do you want to try five? Five? Yes. Yeah, I bought a chair for my apartment. Yeah, that's right, you know, because the chair is countable noun. Exactly. Nino, do you want to do six? Uh, yeah. No, you know, he can speak well, you know. Okay. He was just, she is just hearing, you know. Okay, great. Okay. Right. Victor, do you want to do number six? Okay. I bought a furniture from my apartment. It's uh, wrong. Wrong? Yeah. And how would you change it to make it right? I bought furniture from my apartment. Almost. Furniture. No plural. Okay, furniture. Yeah, it would be I bought furniture for my apartment because furniture doesn't have a regular plural, um, and so you just it's not a count now, and you can just say furniture. You don't need to. But can you say some when it's just one, like a, cha um, a chair is furniture, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you buy one chair, you can say some furniture. Um, I wouldn't say that. I don't think that's clear because it sounds like you're buying a little bit more than just one chair. Because the number two says that you can say some when you buy one. It sounds... Yeah. I guess... That's a good question. Yeah, you you could you could replace you could replace one with some, um, but it's just it's way more specific. To just t say what kind of furniture you got if it's only one, like if if you bought a sofa. It's more specific to say a piece of furniture. 
I bought a piece of furniture. That's more specific. But also to just say, like, I bought a chair. Or, like, I bought a sofa. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but, but yeah, it, it sounds fine to say I bought some furniture, even if it's one. Even if it's one. Good, good question, Adolfo. Good question. Okay. Um, let's do these. So now we're going to practice using sum. This is Adolfo's question, right? Using sum. And, um, sum versus A, because you wouldn't say I have five fruits. You, sorry, excuse me. You would say five fruits, but some fruits versus a banana because banana is singular, right? Or five bananas. Fruit can be count and non count at the same time, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I I misspoke briefly for a minute because it can, yeah, exactly, exactly. You want to try number three, Adolfo? Um. I got a letter today. Mm. Yeah, because if you said I got some letter today, you would have to say letters, right? It have to be mm. plural if you use the sum. Yeah. Hazen, you are number four. Yeah, I uh, got a mail today. You got what? A mail. Hey, a mail. Good, today. good, good, good try. It, it yeah. should be some. It should be some. Um, uh, because you yeah, couldn't, because mail is mail is a non-count noun. Yeah, so you have yeah, to say yeah. Some, some. I got mail. some mail. Yeah, go ahead and try five. Okay. Uh, An where uh, uh, some uh, a ring on her left hand. Exactly. Good correction. Yeah. Good correction. Yeah. Yeah, because we can't we can't say some ranks also. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Koba, do you know what I say? Um, yeah, Maria is wearing some jewelry today. Mm, perfect. Um, Thorin? Uh, next. Uh, um, I'm try I, I was seeing if Thorin was in the class with a microphone, but maybe not. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Hello, welcome, Thornin. Will you introduce yourself and tell us where you're from? Yeah, I'm Thornin. I'm from Thailand. Yeah, nice to meet all of you. Hi. Wonderful, welcome. Uh, Thornin, we're just talking about um, the difference between count and non-count now, and what you do, what you do about Sorry, it. Sorry, Will you, do you want to try number seven? Can you see the uh -huh. screen share? Can number you see seven? the screen share? Yeah. Eh, I have a homework to finish. Right. Um, so homework is... Or should be some. Exactly, <laughs> because homework is a non-count. Yeah, it's not yeah. in the plural. Great. Victor, do you want to do eight? Okay. I have some assignments to finish. Um, if it was assignments, plural, you would be right to say I have some assignments to finish. But because, it, because it's singular, you need to say I have an assignment to finish. Assignment is countable? Yeah, I have one assignment, two assignments, three assignments, four assignments. Okay. Yeah. You want to try number nine, Victor? I needed some information. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Um, and Koba, do you want to try number ten? Uh, I asked the que a question because we can count question. Exactly. One, one question, 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 three questions, right? Exactly, exactly, yes. Yeah. Great. Um, welcome back to class, Joanna. Thank you. Nice to have you in class again. Do you want to introduce yourself for the class? Okay. My name is Joanna. I'm from Colombia. Very nice to meet you. Wonderful. 
And is it uh, Serdar? Serdar? Maybe not. Okay. All right. So this might, this might, I, in retrospect, thinking back, this might actually make things a little easier. Um, I have a question. Go ahead, Adolfo. <laughs> it's about fruit. When you make the plural as fruit or fruits? Food. Food. It's, it's fruit. never foods. Yeah. Fruit. Oh, fruit, fruit, fruit. Mm. I'm sorry. You said fruit, F-R-U-I-T? Yeah. How do I make it plural? Yeah, when you use fruit or fruits. Fruits. But fruit is a little bit of a funky word because you could say, like, I have... Like you could, it could be plural. It's like a little, it's it's messy, because if you have like a bucket full of pears or something, you could say, look at all this fruit in the singular, and it implies all of the different pears that you have in the bucket. But you could absolutely say like, he has like twelve fruits in his backpack. Does that make sense? A bit. <laughs> what a bit? Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a funky word, but what I would stick to is use fruit in the singular, and if there's multiple fruits, um, different types. About, of exactly. Fruits. Talk about the specific ones. So like twelve pears, twelve apples, fifteen oranges, seventeen bananas. Um, yeah. What about fish? Fish. I'm going. Fish. Fishes. You can say fish and fishes. Six fishes. Six fish. Uh, no, you can always just say fish. I think some people say fishes. I'm not sure if that's grammatically correct. I've heard fishes no, no, no. Uh, I don't think, Yeah, I don't think uh, fish we can count. Uh, if we used to say uh, fish uh, as a pure, a pure, a pure, pure uh, noun. Uh huh. Yeah, I uh, I don't I don't uh, make uh, fish as a plural now. Uh, fish we can say singular or uh, plural, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fish is yeah. Nice to meet you, Koba. Have a good day. Um, I I the reason I'm hesitating is because I think some people do say fishes. Um, so, I, but but you can, you're always right to say fish. I know that. I know that that yeah. you're always right to say fish. Uh, you, you're absolutely right, Hazem. Um, yeah. But I think sometimes it's not as some people are just a little more casual. Uh, yeah. No, just out of curiosity, what about food? <laughs> food? Yeah. Food. You're asking all these great. These are these are really great words because um, there like there are particular opportunities like foods. What kind of foods do you eat? What kind of food do you eat? Mm. I think it sounds a little funny to me to say the plural foods. Um, that doesn't mean you shouldn't, but I think it sounds a little funny to me. I think you could, you should always say food. You definitely can't count food, but I have heard like in particular situations someone say foods. Um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't think too hard about it. I would think I would I would just use food. Is that an, is that an okay answer for you, Adolfo? I understand. Yeah, it's it's not a great answer, um, but. I think it's. I'm gonna look up in the dictionary. All right, sounds good. Let me know what you find out. <laughs> so this exercise um, is figuring out when to use the plural form of the word. So remember that if 
it's a non-count noun, right? But let me show you let's let me show you this this beginning thing once more before we do this exercise. So remember, for count nouns, it has the it has the plural form. So if you can say one, two, three before the noun, you can put an s or an es. But if it is a non-count noun, it doesn't have a plural form. So see, grammar, non-count noun, doesn't have an S. Noun, count noun, it has an S. That's the two examples there, is I'm learning a lot of grammar and we're studying count and non-count nouns. Uh, Adolfo, you want to try number three? City streets usually have a lot of traffic. It's non-count. Right, so no, you don't put anything because you wouldn't say two traffics, two traffics, four traffics. Nice. Hazen, number four? Yeah. Uh, the streets are full of automobiles. Uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly what I think. It's uncountable. Try, try replacing it with cars. Yeah, yeah. So we can say full of automobiles? Yeah, try, try just using the word car. Cars, yeah, okay. Streets are full of cars, yeah. Right, because I, I don't know why they have automobile here. This might be an old textbook. Um, yeah. <laughs> but but uh, cars, you get one car, two car, three cars. So, so, so we can't say automobile, right? You could you could say automobile and you add the and just add the s's. Great, nice, Joanna. Do you want to try five? We enjoy the sceneries in the countryside. Right. This is this is just singular because um, you you can't have two sceneries except unless unless you're in a play. If you're in a play and you are talking about the sceneries behind the the play, you could have multiple sceneries. But in this particular context, because you're talking about the scenery of a countryside, you can't have multiple ones. Today. So because it's a non-count, you wouldn't add the S. So you want to try to read it without the S? Okay. We enjoy the scenery in the countryside. Yeah. yeah. Great. Nice. And hi, uh, Naniko? Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Uh, Naniko, would you like to introduce yourself to the class? Uh, I'm coming now, and I don't know what I do. No problem. Where are you from? No, no, don't ask me, please. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Can you can you see the screen share on my my screen? Naniko, when you see when you look at my. Um, Video feed? Do you see yeah, a screen share? I, I see. But I Great. don't know what can I do. Do you want to just listen for a little bit? Sorry, that is a problem and I don't uh, hear your voice well. Would, would you like to listen for a little bit? While you get used to everything? Hi, Slim. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. <laughs> Where do you get the baby? <laughs> uh, I try a new world. Uh, <laughs> new world of America. Wow. It's the software I use to get the dog. Right, I remember I remember your dog at all. <laughs> How how it what what app is it? Uh, what? What did you click to do that? Um, there is uh, uh, in 
the driver of uh, my PC, uh, Dell uh, Software Point, uh, that uh, helps uh, to change the avatar. <laughs> Animation yeah. avatar. Yeah. It's like yeah. a video. But, uh, okay. Great. So, do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Oh, okay. I am my name is Tim, as you said. I, I am from Tunisia. I am 26 years old. I am from Toronto. Awesome, um, thanks. Sweet, great. Um, Slim, can you see the screen share on my video feed? I see it there. Okay, so we're just reviewing count and versus non-count nouns, and we're trying to decide if we should put an S or not an S on the ends of the words in bold. So do you want to try number six? Okay. You Okay. I think my name is the uh, font. Sorry, Slim. Your um, your microphone got a little messed up. Do you want to try once more? Okay. Uh, Nepal has high winds. Perfect. Great. Awesome. Uh, Victor, do you want to try seven? Um, I have some info. I have some important information for you. Perfect. Adolfo, eight. I have some important facts for you. Nice. Great. Now we're on a roll. Hazem, nine. Uh, I'm going to the last of English one. Perfect. All right. Joanna, ten. Can I mute uh, Nico? Uh, Olga? There is a Nico for me. Yes, go ahead. Joanna, do you want to try number 10? Olga has learned a lot of new vocabulary. Perfect. Slim, 11? 11. The children learns, learned a lot of new songs. In, uh, awesome. In Great. <laughs> Uh, Victor, number 13, uh, 12, sorry. Me? Yes, Victor. Okay. I enjoy listening to music. Perfect. And welcome, uh, Tornike. Tornike, Gavacelli. Okay, maybe not. Great. That was awesome. Um, everyone did really well. Um, I, I won't keep doing those exercises. So that's, um, those are count and count nouns, and now we're going to talk about quantifiers. Um, has anyone come across what a quantifier is before? What? A quantifier? Quantifier, yes. All right. We we're gonna came across a little bit already. Yeah, we, we exactly. We, we, we sort of came across them already. Um, if you look on the screen share right now, um, there's some quantifiers here. And if you see the second column, a few, some, several, a lot of, many, um, are all ways of describing count nouns. Um, that are not like a very specific number, right? So a few is generally three to four. Some is some is like four to six. Several, um, it, it's their ambiguous terms that talk about like you know a handful, a collection of of things. So if you said you had a few desserts on your plate, that'd be like, you know, I have like a piece of cake, a cookie, and some ice cream, right? And some is pretty interchangeable with that. Several is like a little bit more, um, like maybe cake, a cookie, ice cream, and cheesecake, and um, another cookie. And then a lot of, or many, is way more. So that's like, 
my dessert, my plate is filled with desserts. A lot of is more than several. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of is more than several. Okay. Um, and then if you look down for non-count nouns, for example, fruit juice, because you can't have fruit juices, right, like in your cup. Um, there, are, there are different quantifiers, right? So a little fruit juice is like maybe half a cup, or some fruit juice is a little bit more than that, maybe like three quarters of a cup. And then a lot of fruit juice is like my cup is filled with fruit juice. Does that make sense to people? Great, and that's this is the negative here, is there isn't much fruit juice in my cup, or any. So now we're just going to practice recognizing um, these quantifiers. And we're going to see how they underline parades, which is the, the noun, and then they circle the quantifier. So I'll just ask you to read the sentence and then um, talk about which, what is the noun. So Adolfo, you want to try number two? Um. What should I exactly do? So read the sentence and then tell me what the count, what the quantifier is and what it's quantifying. Oh, okay. Many children dress in costumes on Mexican Independence Day. It's many, but it's quantifying children. Nice. Perfect. Um, Hazen, do you want to try the next one? Okay. People carry a lot of Flag at the Philippines Independence Day party. Uh, let's all hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all. And, and what is a lot of quantifying? Uh, flags. Exactly, perfect. Joanna, next. You can see a few famous stars at the Puerto Rican Day. Uh huh. A few. Few is quantified. Right, and what is it quantifying? Famous. Famous stars. Perfect, yeah, famous stars, exactly, together. Uh, Slim, you want to do Food, the animals sell a lot of common uh, food on uh, to scope. I yeah, great. Sorry, I got, I got a little cut off, but that's fine. Um, and what's the quantifier? Look, mm, look. Right, and it's what is it quantifying? Korean food. Right, exactly. Great. Thank you. Yeah. You gotta do next. You can see some traditional dances at the Cinco de Mayo parade. Nice. And the quantifier? Some. Yep. And what is it quantifying? Victor, what is it quantifying? Uh, it's the uh, sum. Nice. Uh, no, um, what is some quantifying? Uh, dances. Exactly. Perfect. Great. Okay, so. Now I'm going to do a, one more screen share here about talking about different examples of, actually you know what, I'm going to give you the link to this one so you can see it on your own. There's the link. Um, and this is, I, I don't know if any of you know Dave's ESL Cafe, but it's great. It's an incredible resource for studying English. I highly recommend it. Um, and this is talking about how you can use quantifiers for uncountable nouns and how you can use, so the quantifier allows you to count an uncountable noun, right? So if you look at the first example, it says a bag of, 
and then it gives you examples of uncountable nouns that it can be used with. So you can't say two candies, three. Ca um, let me use flower as an example. You can't have one. You can't have one flower, two flowers, three flowers. Um, not the like the pretty kind of flowers, but flower like you cook with, right? So you can't count flower in that way. But if you say a bag of flour, then you can count it, right? Or a bag of sugar, a bag of candy, then you can count it. And I am not sure count candy is an uncountable noun because I think you can have two can candies. Three candy. How many candies do you have? Four. Yeah, I, uh, I've heard candies before I left. Yeah. So I don't know why that's an uncountable noun. But does, does the idea make sense to people of having a bag of... So you're adding, you're essentially adding something that you can count to the beginning of an uncountable noun. Does that make sense to people, that concept? Yeah. Any questions about that? Nope. <laughs> nope? Okay, great. Um, so I'm going to give you that as a, as a reference. Um, and we're going to do a crossword puzzle together as a group and see if it works out. So let me do, let me do this screen share. No, not that. This. Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Can everyone see that? Yeah. All right. So, Adolfo, what do you think cereal? What, what, what is our quantifier going to be for cereal? And if you have any questions, you should be able to refer to this, to that ESL Cafe website that I gave you, and that should have it. A box? It's yes. a box. Boxes. Nice. <laughs> Um, is this down or sorry? It's, up. it's across. Okay. The only problem is there are five. Okay, let's try boxes. Oops. Okay. Um, and then let's see. Do you want to try three, three across, Adolfo? Bottles. Bottles. Three bottles of wine. Okay, let's try that. Oops. Nice. So, Victor, you brought up the the point that it could be it could be two bowls of cereal too. So we don't know. We'll see. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter because both start with B, and B is the only one used in one. So I don't know which one they wanted, but I think both work. Uh, okay. All right, Hazen, what about seven across? Uh, seven across? Uh, I can't see. Uh, seven. Uh, I can't see it. Oh, it's, is, it not, is it not big enough, or is it not clear? Uh, yeah, back. A bag of mayonnaise? Uh, a jar, a jar. A jar? A jar, yeah. Yes, a jar. Nice. Yeah. And you want to do eight, too? Eight. Uh, eight uh, across? Yes. Uh, okay. Eight uh, boxes. I don't know if boxes. Boxes. Boxes? Did you say boxes? Yeah. yeah. The only problem is eight across is six letters. Does anyone know um, does anyone know um, how you describe eggs? This is a hard one. Yeah. Uh, Victor, you could say a dozen eggs too, except it's six letters across is eight. Carton. Exactly. Exactly, uh, Slim. A carton of eggs. Well done, well done. Uh, 
perfect. Great. All right. And Joanna, you have, take it away. You want to do ten? Joanna. Okay. This is another hard one. <laughs> yes. Would someone like to help Joanna with this one? Yeah, anyone, number ten. Yeah. Anyone know what? How you refer to butter? Box. What? Box of, uh, box. Pad. Packs. Packs. Um. You could say, you could say packs of butter. That makes sense. I think there's one other thing that. Makes more sense though. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you. This is tricky. I think sticks of butter is what they want. They want sticks. Okay. Um. Ten. A stick of butter. All right, Joanna. You want to try twelve across? Number. Joanna? Cake. Yes. And how would you refer to cake in five letters? How would you quantify it? A piece of cake. Perfect. Exactly. Yes. Peace. Great. And uh, Slim, you want to you give me the last across? 13? <laughs> what do you say? Uh, no, it's in the okay. This is this is another hard one. Six letters. This is a bottle of six letters. <laughs> six letters to describe ten things of cheese. Oh, things work. <laughs> Cotton again. <laughs> What do you say, Slim? Carton. Um, nope. Carton is not going to work. Mm. Oh, you're getting some. You're getting some help from the chat here. You, would you like to refer to the chat? Ask the audience. Yes. <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Go team. All right. Now let's go. Now let's go to the downs. So two what's of rice. Bread. Exactly. Oops. Nice. And Victor, how about number two down? Round. Awesome. Um, whoa. How about Vic Victor? How about four down? I uh, where is it? For love. Exactly. Exactly. Oops. Okay. And. Adolfo, back to you. Five down. Um. This is hard. Let's let's do six first. Let's do six down. Six. Awesome, yes. A pack. Okay, Joanna, do you want to try nine? Nine. Yes. Two somethings of lettuce. 
This is, this is another hard one. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try 11? At 2. Exactly. You got it. Mia, do you want to try um, 9? No. Oh, well, she's gone. Slim, you want to do nine? Yes. Number five, ten. Can be. Uh, what do you say about number five? Ten. Exactly. Awesome. Well done. And lastly, the lettuce. Anyone got the lettuce? Anyone want to take a stab? Anyone at all? Going once? Yes, sir. Pieces of lettuce. Pieces would be great, except for nine down starts with oh. E as the second letter, and pieces would be P I E. Oh. This is a funny term. Um, mm -hmm. I'll just tell you, it's called. They're called heads of lettuce. Okay. Because. Oh. I guess because they're supposed to look like heads or something. I don't know. <laughs> so here's the link to that um, that uh, crossword if you're curious and want to practice again. Um, and just I'm just say once more. I'll make a plug for um, Dave's ESL Cafe. I think it's a phenomenal website. Um, and also that partic in particular that. Um, in particular, that page I gave you as a reference for these these quantifiers. Um, these quantifiers. Oh wow, that sun is bright. I'm sorry. Let me try this. Um, these quantifiers. Oh, let's look at them. Quantifiers is a great way of counting non-countable nouns. Right? There are plenty of nouns in the English language that you can't count, um, and quantifiers are a great way of counting that. And they're really irregular and funky, um, and something you sort of just have to practice a lot. Um, I, I, um, as a student myself, I always, I, I, I don't really like the things that you just have to like get used to. But there's there's a certain amount of just getting used to how things sound um, for it to make sense. And, and final leaves would would work. Um, Twelve leaves of lettuce. Yeah, I guess that may work too. Maybe that's what they were talking about instead of heads. Both work, right? No. Heads no, because no. uh, leaves is six six letters. Um But yeah, so use that as a, use that ESL Cafe website as a reference, um, when you have when you when you're trying to figure out how to count non count uh nouns. Um are there any questions at, of stuff we've gone through so far? Nate, um, yes, Adolfo. I looked up at the dictionary and for food, fruit, and fish. And for these words, they can be countable or uncountable. But when you use foods, fruits, or fishes, is when we have more than one type of this thing. We have one, more than one type of food, you say foods. One more time, fruits. Say fruits. One more time, then fish. Say fishes. Oh, great! Thank you. <laughs> so, we, if if you caught it, we were having I I was having trouble um, figuring out when to use the plural of these words: fruit, fish, and food. Um, and Adolfo, thank you for looking that up. That that makes total sense now that you said it. Um, the 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 thing that these what's special about these words is they're countable when there are multiple kinds right so if I have like bananas apples and oranges I can use them as count nouns because yeah. they're referring to the particular number of a variety of things 
But if I'm using them to describe a single piece of that, then they become uncountable. And you couldn't say, you know, if I have five bananas, I, I can say, oh, I've got fruits. You would say, I've got fruit, because it's only referring to one banana. Or, you know, if you have, like, a striped sea bass, flounder, and salmon, you could say, you want to come over to my place, I'm going to cook some fishes. Right? Because you're referring to the number of varieties. And so you're counting varieties and not the number of things that it actually is. Does that make sense to people? Totally. Great. Adolfo, thank you for no keeping, problem. Me, keeping me honest with my grammar. <laughs> <laughs> you learn something every day. Um, part, partly why I love this opportunity in Colingo is I'm learning a little bit more about the English language. Um, I, as a native speaker, I, one of the, the, both the privileges and the ignorances of being a native speaker is you don't have to learn all the rules um, that accompany your language, but, but it's good to know the rules because then you can, one, you can explain it to people, but also, um, it just, it makes more sense, right? Like, yeah. I, I wasn't able yeah. to give you a good explanation when you asked me, it was a great question, um, but now I am. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, great. Other questions? No? Okay. Well, we've got a minute left. Um, I apologize today was not the clearest of lessons, but I had fun. I hope you had fun, too, and learned a little bit, too, um, and came out with that resource for lists of mod uh, quantifiers. Um, I hope you have a good afternoon or evening, wherever you are, or morning, Adolfo, Nick, for you. Yes? I want to share with you video. OK, um, great. So class is over. Um, and if you want to stay and see Adolfo's video, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> um, otherwise, I hope this, this, it's not, this won't be an official Kalingo sanctioned um, part of my lesson. But um, if you, I hope to see you in another class sometime again. Yeah. Yes. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. 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 Okay. Um where do I play? Um do you have the YouTube app? Wait, is okay. it a YouTube video or what is yeah, it? Yeah, it's YouTube. I'm gonna open. How did YouTube video to uh... I'll be right back.